Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about some essentials you need to master Illustrator. We are going to talk about repeating transformations on objects and how to use it to create new shapes. To make sure you got the same workspace that I got, you can go to Window Workspace and choose the Essentials Classic. With the Rectangle tool we are going to create a basic shape like this. Now that the shape is complete, we are going to copy it by using the Repeat Transformation tool. Right click on your mouse button, transform and let's try to rotate it first. Select the angle of your rotation and select preview to see what you are going to do. Instead of OK, we are going to click copy to keep the first shape. Now that the shape is complete, we are going to turn it again to create the X-like shape. Now we are going to move it and copy it by using transformation and the move option. Choose the movement, horizontal or vertical movement you like and do not use the OK button, we are going to copy it. To repeat the step without using your mouse, you can use Ctrl D, which is the shortcut for repeat transformation. Group the row to transform it as one object. Select the row and use some vertical movement as well. To make the movement go down instead of up, you can use a minus in front of your angle. To repeat the steps, we're going to use Ctrl D. Now that the first shape is complete, we're going to move on to some circular rotation. First, we're going to draw a circle which will be used as center of the rotation. The shape above it will be the shape that we are going to copy. Make sure to align the shapes. The rotation tool can also be found in the tool menu. Before we use it, make sure that you select the shape that you want to be copied. Now select the rotation tool, hold down the Alt key and click in the center of the gravity point. In the menu we can choose the angle we would like. You can also type 360, which is a full circle of course, and divide it by the number of objects you would like to see. Use copy instead of OK. Now that the shape has been copied and rotated, we can use Ctrl D to repeat it and close the circle. Just for the practice we are going to do this again with a smaller circle. Do not forget to hold the ALT key and click on the center of the gravity point. To make the rotation go clockwise, use the minus in front of the angle. Next up is combining shapes with the circle and repeat it with using the scale. First we draw a circle and instead of giving it a fill we are going to give it a stroke. In this example we are going to use the shape that we have created before. Set the shape in top of the circle and make sure it's properly aligned. Select the rotation tool and set the center of the circle as gravity point. Point. 
set the angle and use Ctrl D to repeat it. Now we're going to scale it down and repeat it to create a nice effect. Open up the transform menu and select scale. Choose the scale you would like and select copy. Now you can repeat this by using Ctrl D. So, this is it for today. I hope you have learned something about transforming objects and the repeating of the transformation. If you got any questions regarding Creative Cloud products, you can ask them in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe if this video was of help to you. Thanks for now and I hope you stay tuned for the next video.